Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Poigi here. Today we're going to go through the six things you need to know to become better at bombing and ground realistic. Uh, we're going to go through the six of them in order from most important to least important. So let's get started with number one. So go up here to options, go to air battle settings. And the first thing you need to do is to turn this off. So this is autopilot for gunner and bomb sites. It basically makes your plane fly straight line level um, whenever you go into your bombing site. We don't want that. We want to be able to bomb while we're diving. We want to be able to bomb at angles and do all those things. So take this, make it no, and save your settings. All right, guys. So to show you why we've got our trusty TBD, um, I'm going to go back into options. I'm going to go to air battle settings. I'm going to set it back to what we don't want, which is always to have that autopilot on. Then there's two things to show you. First is, let's say we're diving down towards this howitzer. Got a good dive going. We don't want to get so close to the enemy that they have a chance to shoot us. So we're going to try and use our bomb reticle in this dive to go ahead and put a bomb on them. So as soon as we do that, whoop, what happens? We missed them because autopilot has leveled our flight out. Uh, the second reason why you don't want that on is when you're trying to defend yourself. So let's say you've got a fighter behind you, you want to use your back gunner, maybe you want to put them into you know, a climb state so that you can shoot around your tail a bit easier, and you go to go to your gunner view, and now you're at level flight. So any good opponent is going to be able to just sit behind your tail where you can't actually shoot at him. You can shoot at him when he goes to the sides, but it won't allow you to shoot when they're behind your tail. So kind of two benefits of getting rid of that. So now I'm going to show you what it looks like with that setting off. Let's go up to options. Let's go to air battle settings. Let's turn this off. All right, so now we're going to pick a target down here. Let's just pick this boat. We're coming in, we want to be in a dive, we don't want to get too close to him because he's got AA, so we go into our reticle here, and now we can drop a bomb without the autopilot leveling us out. We can actually drop in a dive. So that's the benefit of it. Second benefit is, let's get rid of these bombs, and let's go back to kind of defending ourselves against uh, enemy fighters. So best thing you can typically do Again, to avoid having them sit in the dead zone behind your tail and just hammering you while you can't do anything back. Put yourself into a steep climb. Now they're typically up here where you've got better angles on getting shots at them. Um, and if you have that autopilot on, it's going to level out your flight. They're going to sit behind their, your tail and just chew you up. So that's it for number one. Let's move on to number two. All right, for, so for the second most important thing, we're taking out the P-47. We've got 1,000 pound bombs on each of our wings and underneath the fuselage. What you need to do is if you're going to take out two big bombs at once, you need to make sure that you drop them at the same time. And I'll show you why here in a second. Let's get flipped back around. Let's get a stationary target. That vehicle looks... Yeah, he's moving. Let's go for the medium tank. So when you come in and you just drop one bomb, so we don't have a reticle on this one. We're just going to go in and put one close to him as we can. So if you see now that I've got just one bomb on my wing, it's going to affect how my aircraft moves. So now all I want to do is do straight up elevator and watch what happens. It turns itself into a roll, which can get you into a lot of trouble. Makes it hard to pull out from some uh, circumstances, especially when you're doing ground RB or close to the ground on these drops. And so if you're going to take big bombs on your wings, you need to drop them both at the same time. Ideally, find some bombs that are just as effective that you carry in or on your fuselage, and that'll help you. Let's just go down like we're going to run into them. All right, so now that both bombs are gone, if you look, we're going to put ourselves into a dive. We're gonna go ahead and do up elevator. What happens? Plane goes straight up, doesn't roll on you, doesn't do any of those things. So ideally you wanna drop both those bombs immediately in the same pass at least. Don't have to be immediately, you don't have to drop them on the same tank, but you need to drop them in the same pass. Otherwise the maneuverability of your plane and it rolling when you don't want it to is just really gonna screw you up. So that's it for number two. Let's check on number three. 
All right, so for the third most important uh, item that you need to know, we are back in the trusty TBD. And the key to this is keep your wings level when you drop. So if you come in at an angle, whether using the reticle, we're gonna do like a little bit of an angle here to the left to make the shot. So we're coming in at a left angle. We're gonna drop basically where he was. I'm gonna follow that bomb in. You're typically going to miss to the side that has your wing up higher in the air. So we're missing to the right because our right wing was higher in the air. Still got it because he's a little tiny guy. Um, and same thing when you're coming down for without the reticle and just doing a drop. I'm going to cut my throttle here so I don't mess it up too bad. But if you're coming in and you're trying to do like a fast, oh, let me get this guy and you drop, chances are you're going to drop to the right of him. So instead, keep your, I know I hit both targets. <laughs> so instead, uh, keep your wings level when you're dropping. Uh, let's drop this last one and I'll come back in and do a level run for you to show you. All right, so our bombs are almost back. We're gonna go ahead and do a nice level bombing run on, whoops, maybe not that guy. Let's go for this guy. Let's try to keep our wings as level as we can. Let's watch that one go in should theoretically be closer. I think I aimed a little bit left. See how much closer that is to the target just by keeping your wings level. And that happens as well when you're going in without the reticle. Got our engine power. And just going in to do a drop on a tank, like if you're in a P-47 or something like that, you don't have the reticle. Basically, you just aim right at them. Get as close as you can. Drop, and as long as you're level in flight, you're gonna hit left to right dead on. So that's item number three. Let's talk about item number four. All right, so item number four is pretty straightforward. Basically, if you have a reticle, a bombing reticle, and you fix that setting from the beginning, use it. So here, you know exactly where you're gonna hit, even though we're coming in at a dive. makes a heck of a lot easier than trying to just judge where you should drop your bomb and that way you don't have to get as close either so instead of having to come right up on the howitzer to try and do it without the reticle you can drop them farther away be just as accurate and uh, you're going to get more kills that way that's it for number four let's talk about number five all right item number five is also pretty straightforward but super important which is use bigger bombs or use two smaller bombs at the same time so yeah, it would be great in the TBD. I think it has the option to take out 12 100 bomb, pound bombs. And, you know, we all want to be heroes and get 12 kills with, you know, one with each of our bombs. But reality of that happening just isn't, isn't very probable. I think you're better off taking three 500 pound bombs and dropping them. Um, or if you're going to take the 100 pound bombs, drop two at a time. So coming off both your left and your right wing, uh, that way you can get one on the left and right side of your target and you got a better chance of killing them. Um, we all know that bombing and ground RB is pretty, you know, relatively difficult. Um, otherwise, we wouldn't be watching the video. So, yeah, just either use bigger bombs or use two at a time. The other thing that ends up happening a lot, and the other reason why this is important, is, see, like from here, we don't even have to get that close to the howitzer to drop. Let's watch it go in. So by having that reticle, you can just perfect all right so um use a reticle like we talked about in the last one but for this one um yeah just use bigger bombs make sure that you get your targets one you're going to get more kills that way and two you're going to get shot down less because you can drop your three bombs you can go back to base by the time you drop 12 separate bombs you're probably shot down by a or a fighter um, especially if you got a couple kills people come hunting for you so just use the bigger bombs and uh you'll have a lot more success. Let's talk about last but not least, number six. So for the sixth and final lesson today, um, lesson is understand your fuse timing. So I typically, no matter what plane I'm in, I use one and a half seconds on my fuse time. Um, one that just allows me to get used to it. So it doesn't matter if they're small bombs or big bombs, I know about how much to lead, you know, a moving target. Um, the other is I tend not to get in too much trouble. I mean, if I'm th putting down thousand pound bombs like this and I'm going slow, it'll probably do a little bit of damage to my aircraft. Um, 
but typically we're doing okay. So we've got this Type 94 in front of us. He's moving. So we know our fuses are gonna be one and a half seconds out. We know we're gonna drop both. So let's drop in front of him and let him drive into it. Uh, we've all had that happen to us. We know how frustrating it is when somebody drops a bomb in front of you and you're like, shit, do I stop? Do I keep driving? Like, I'm not sure what to do. And then you explode and, <laughs> and it's just a good time for the other guy, the guy dropping the bomb. So understand your fuse time, how much you need to lead targets that are moving. Obviously, if they're stationary, not a big deal, not much you need to do. But for moving targets, um, understand how much you have to lead them in order to get the kill. And that wraps it up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will catch you on the next one. America! Fuck yeah! To save this fucking day, yeah! Beautiful.